So welcome to this evening's Mappy Hour. Uh, we have Hanim, Jesse, and Amanda who are going to present on their work. And just, they've spent two semesters pulling together some amazingness for us. And I will let them describe that. But just, I wanted to emphasize that before they went into this project that was from the University of Virginia's data science program, they had never looked at OpenStreetMap data at all. So this is um, a really great uh, project that they did. And I will let the three of you introduce yourselves and then go ahead into your presentation. Hanim, do you wanna go first? Uh, sure. Um, so my name is Hanim. I recently graduated from UVA School of Data Science. Um, I'm one of the presenters today. Um, I'm in Fairfax, Virginia. And I just started working as a data scientist, so I'm excited to explore what can be done with data and more. So yeah, I'm excited. Um, I'll go ahead. Um, Jesse Katz here. Um, I'm based, I just graduated you know, with Neem and Amanda um, from the master's program. I am um, based in New York City. Um, I've been working since I graduated undergrad about six and a half years ago at a uh, quantitative modeling firm where we provide uh, data analytics and like statistical models to sales and marketing partners, so kind of like consulting uh, with data. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see where, you know, I, we were excited to look, look at this and, and hopefully it can help you guys in the future. And my name's Amanda Maruka, um, and I went to undergrad at Virginia Tech and obviously graduated with Jesse and Science, and I'm currently working at Booz Allen um, I've been working there for four years now with a focus in data science and data engineering. And I All can right, go ahead great. and jump into the presentation if that's Yeah, easier. please go right ahead. I um, do want to preface with saying that if you already have knowledge of OpenStreetMaps, this may be a little bit of a beginner stage. Um, but yeah, it's, we give a good overview of kind of everything you guys do. So just wanted to put that out there real quick. Um, so, hello, my name is Amanda. Um, I'm joined by Hanim and Jesse, um, and our project focused on OpenStreetMap and how to improve um, their user base. The problem statement for our project is to utilize data science techniques to create a tool to identify where zip code regions are under maps based on the distribution of socially relevant tags, including hospitals, schools, and restaurants. Next slide. Um, as a quick overview, OpenStreetMaps is a collaborative project that creates a free and editable geographic database of the world where the output is geospatial data. The goal is to make geographical data free to the world instead of having to pay and work with commercially copyrighted entities. Um, sorry. Uh, next slide. So there are various libraries and APS for OS APIs for OSM data, and we use a package called OSMNX to extract the data. And some of the data sources we use are OpenStreetMap Wiki, Census Data, and other various Python documentation. Um, there were some difficulties while manipulating the OSM data, and it was mainly due to the size of the data. Um, um, the overall OSM data is up to 700 gigabytes. So to make the progress more efficient, our approach was focusing on singular states, Virginia and Rhode Island only. Yeah, I think we can skip over this part. This is like the overview of the data, what um, data we used, um, some of the plots we did in the cloud for um, showing the um, plots of Northern Street of Charlottesville, Virginia area. Yeah. Um, all right. So I'll take it from here. And so I'll kind of go through our modeling process and our conclusions. Um, so like Kaneem said, you know, our main first step was data wrangling. And so that included, you know, getting the data in the right, you know, the right way and then figuring out how to work with it. So there's kind of a learning curve and cleaning the data, merging it together with the census data, um, you know, so you have it by zip code, uh, zip code tabulation area, et cetera, um, as well as just exploratory data analysis that Kaneem kind of talked about. Then we go into, you know, because every zip code is different, um, you know, we kind of wanted to use a different, we wanted to break these zip codes into topics um, to 
help classify and figure out where the under regions are undermapped, which zip codes are undermapped. So we use a we'll go into a technique called um, uh, latent or delay allocation to do so. Um, from there, we use those topics to predict where um, zip code tabulation areas, which ones are undermapped in the two uh, states that we focused on, as well as and the final step would be for, 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 to refine the model and include additional data, which we ended up doing with Rhode Island. Um, so kind of just going through this, how does this help? So latent or delay uh, analysis or allocation um, LDA utilizes in, um, and identifies different regions to help classify zip codes and predict tags. So example, you know, for Las Vegas would have made more hotels and be more hospitality focused in a West Virginia area. So the idea is um, the, uh, the proportion of tags, of, of socially relevant tags will be different in certain regions and others. So we want to kind of capture that as part of the prediction process to avoid kind of uh, a skewed view of the total uh, of, of the of the of the total proportion and distribution of data. Um, the machine learning models after that for prediction and classification um, utilize the different classified regions to predict the number of places of worship, which we focus on because it's a common tag, um, a, amenity tag in the data. And, and that's based on the probability of each zip code tabulation that each, each that probability that each zip code falls in each, in each region or topic. So um, we'll get into that a little bit more. And then once our trained model is trained, we can deploy and repeat it on different regions, including you know Virginia, um, Rhode Island and other states, um, and as well as whatever states you guys want in the future. So our modeling process was first, like I said, data wrangling. So we took the census data, which is, you know, that had the ZT, Z, uh, zip code tabulation areas by bounding boxes. And we're able to use the OSM index package in Python to pull all the amenity tags for Virginia to start and then merge the data together. Um, so that's kind of, that was kind of starting to get our base data. And that, that was, took, took us, you know, almost a full semester to get us there uh, because it was just kind of getting, cleaning the data and like, get the learning curve of the data was, was tough there. Um, but we were finally able to figure it out and able to get that through um, and, and start in the same semester working on the uh, latent and delay allocation modeling. So what we did is, like I said, you know, we were trying to split the data into topics to understand which, you know, which regions each, um, each zip code should fall into. So this is kind of going into a little bit more detail on that, but um, basically the output would be, you know, for this zip code in Virginia, uh, the off probability of it being in this topic too is 60% versus the other two topics is less. Um, so the, the topics that kind of came out from this, which is more, you know, kind of understandable to a, a common eye is there are three topics where the optimal number of topics for Virginia it ended up being for the future for all for Virginia and Rhode Island combined. But one, the topic one was suburban town. So there's, like I said, we place it on basis of places of worship in the end, but, you know, places of worship was very common in a, sur a suburban town, child care, car wash, dentist, school, fire station, and hospital. These were the most common tags in that topic, and for those zip codes grouped into that topic or had the majority of their probability as that topic one. Um, topic two was more of a city center, so it's more social areas, so restaurants, pubs, theaters, town halls, cafes, and then topic three is more recreational as focused on, you know, um, and recreational and like kind of government buildings. So public centers, clinics, ranger stations, community centers, post offices. So, so those were the most common tags. And so that it, it, it kind of worked out great where the three tags were very, three topics were very different and, 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 and we were able to kind of fit our data pretty well um, and to go into the prediction process. I'll be right there. Um, so once we had those uh, topics, you know, we can see here, this is again, that same, same uh, zip code tabulation area and the, the, the number of topics, the dominant topic, um, we were able to say, okay, let's let's split it into um, the, the number of like so we're placing up base places of worship. So we said, okay, let's use a low, medium, and high level of places of worship to, for prediction because it, you know it, it, it's kind of just saying instead of predicting just the exact number, you know we can get kind of closer based on the quartiles of the data. So we split them into the number based on the number the each zip code tabulation area into um, a medium, low, and high level of uh, places of worship of tagged in that in that region, and then use an algorithm to identify um, which ones were properly properly mapped, so under mapped or not. So we use the XG boost algorithm, which is not really that important to see. But here's what we can see: is the, the model did really well. Um, this is just a picture of Virginia here, um, where the red areas are where the data is under mapped, and the green areas where the data would be over mapped. So that means that our model predicted that the tag that there should be less that for what under mapped areas the model predicted that we should be there should be more 
places of worship. I mean, you know, it, it was high versus it was predicted to be high, but we really had a low number, uh, low level. So that, those are areas where you guys go on and look into say, okay, are there, is this actually this area mapped or not? Um, is it mapped well? Is it, there might be, is, you know, it's not just places of worship, it's just all, all tags and this using t- places of worship kind of as a proxy. Um, so kind of what we concluded is the, this, 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 this model was successful in predicting low, medium, and high levels of places of worship tags in zip code tabulation areas with 77% accuracy on the text, test data, which is pretty strong. Um, the similar LDA topics and classification accuracy was found when we incorporated the Rhode Island data. So like we said, we just first did Virginia, then Rhode Island. Um, in the 724 zip code tabulation areas um, in the train model, predicted 17 of them to be under map. So these, you know, these can be targeted and examined by the OSM team to for sure full coverage of mapping there. Um, so the next steps what we'd recommend is examine the undermapped regions, which you know we provided to Diane and the rest of the team. Um, repeat on additional states and countries, which you guys have the code now, and um, experiment with additional tags and ways to determine accuracy and create the model to predict all OSM objects. So, you know, we were just specific, specifically looking at amenity tags. It might be interesting to look at other tags that you guys might think are more relevant for the the, the map. You know, we like we said, we, this is our first time working with the data. So. You know, we're, we're, we thought it was a pretty successful trial, um, something you guys can build on in the future, hopefully.